What's up, guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So we've talked a little bit about Trimble Creator and how you can use it to help create live components. There's one feature that I feel like could be added to Trimble Creator that I feel like would take this to the whole nother level. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is a forum post from Sim Jobert. I apologize if I didn't say that name quite right. Um, but basically, he's highlighting a wooden deck that he's created inside of Trimble Creator. I'll link to this in the notes down below so you can go check it out. Um, it's actually a pretty cool setup. So um, it gives you the ability to adjust things like the shape of the deck, as well as adjusting things like the width of the board, right? So if I wanted these to be a different width, I can type in a value right here. You can also set things like the spacing. So if you wanted there to be a little bit more spacing on the deck, you can type in a different value in order to do that. And so one of the really cool things about this is you can actually set different points in order to create a custom shape deck in here. And then what this is doing is this is coming in here and it's using the deck board angle to fill in where those boards go. So obviously it's still something that's in development. It's not 100% complete, but it really gives us kind of a good idea of some of the cool things Trimble Creator can do. One of the things I like about this is it's also randomizing the UV mapping of the materials on here so that you're not getting that like constantly tiling material in here. You've got variation, which I think is very cool. Now, what I was going to say about this though is the problem with this is that it's very clunky. And I understand that Trimble Creator is in beta and everything like that. This isn't really a criticism of what's in here. It's more kind of an idea of what possibly could be. Um, so right now, right, what you're having to do is you're having to come in here and type in different values. And you're just doing a lot of guessing and trial and error and getting some kind of like weird results in order to get this deck to look the way that you want. Right. So and some of that may be the way that this is built in here. Again, not a criticism of this overall. It's just that entering points to create something like a deck is um, pretty challenging because that's not really how you do that in the real world. So what I would love to see with Trimble Creator, and this is something we see with Blender's geometry nodes, is I would love to be able to draw out a path or a shape inside of SketchUp and then import that into Trimble Creator and have it generate things along that path. Right. So there's a lot of instances where this happens in Blender. They use it to create like city generators and other things like that. And I think that that could really be something that would be very valuable inside of Trimble Creator as well. So being able to bring in drawn data, so things like lines and pads and other things like that, and having the nodes work off of that data, I think could be extremely valuable. All right. So just to give you a better idea of what I'm talking about, this is the curves to roads um, geometry node setup for Blender. It's something that I talked about on my Blender channel a while ago, but basically the way that it works is you give it a curve. And so you can kind of see it in here, but there's basically a curve in here and it's generating the road and the rocks and everything else based on that path that we give it. So if I was to come in here, for example, and draw a new path like this, Notice what it does is it takes that data and it generates a road along with lights and other things like that. That gets really powerful with rendering and a lot of other things. And so I'm only using this as an example, not to say Blender is better or anything like that, but to say this is something kind of a prototype of what I would love to see Trimble Creator be able to do. Like if I draw a path and then I bring it into Trimble Creator, I would love to see us have the ability to set up nodes that would actually generate things along those paths. So I can think of a lot of uses for that. So the, so the deck is a great example. It's allowing you to dictate points and then it's generating the perimeter board as well as the interior infill. Why wouldn't you be able to bring in the line data and then use the edges and vertices of that as data as well in order to generate something like this that's more precise? But I think um, right now it does feel very much like a dynamic component type situation, though this is obviously way more advanced than that. But if we had the ability to actually draw those paths and then bring those in to Trimble Creator and have it actually generate things with paths, with curves and with surfaces. So that is something that in my opinion could really make live components kind of a game changer for SketchUp in general. And so again, I'm not 100% sure how possible this is. I, I would assume you would also have the ability to read the vertices or the vertex location of lines that you draw and use that data in Trimble Creator, but there may be some technological limitations I'm not really aware of. Either way, I think it's really an interesting idea, and I'd love to hear your ideas for what you'd like to be able to see Trimble Creator do in the future. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.